Hello, welcome to the International Jurisdiction Academy channel. Today, we will discuss the Monetary Gold Case, decided in 1954 by the International Court of Justice, involving on one side Italy and on the other side France, the United Kingdom, Ireland and the United States. The case involves a certain quantity of monetary gold removed from Rome by the Germans in 1943 and transferred to Germany, although it was the property of the National Bank of Albania. The 1946 agreement on reparation from Germany provided that monetary gold found in Germany should be pulled for distribution among the countries entitled to receive a share of it. The United Kingdom claimed that the gold should be delivered to it. In partial satisfaction of the court's judgment of 1949 in the Corfu Channel case, in which Albania had been condemned to pay a certain amount to the United Kingdom as compensation due as the result of the explosion of mines in the Corfu Channel in 1946. On the other hand, Italy claimed that the gold should be delivered to that country in partial satisfaction for the damages which it alleged it had suffered as a result of an Albanian law of 13 January 1945. Then, in the Washington Statement of 25 April 1951, the government of France, the United Kingdom and the United States decided that the gold should be delivered to the United Kingdom, unless Within a certain time limit, Italy or Albania applied to the court requesting it to adjudicate on their respe respective rights. The three governments who signed the Washington Statement decided to submit the question to an arbitrator as whether the gold belonged to Albania or to Italy or to neither. The opinion of the arbitrator was given on February 20, 1953, and stated that the gold in question belonged to Albania in 1943, within the, the meaning of Part 3 of the Paris Agreement. Albania took no action, but Italy made an application to the court. Later, however, Italy raised the preliminary question as to whether the court had jurisdiction to adjudicate upon the validity of its claim against Albania. The agent of the Italian government pointed out that doubts might arise as to the jurisdiction of the court to adjudicate upon such a question without the consent of Albania, and added that the Washington Statement is not a sufficient basis upon which to found the jurisdiction of the court to deal with the merits of the claim set forth under number one of the submission of the application. The agent of the United Kingdom government affirmed that Italy's objection does not conform to the conditions and intentions of the Washington Statement. In his oral proceedings, he added that Albania's consent is not necessary to the determination of the questions affecting Italy under the Washington Statement. In the court's view, this seems to be an oversimplification of the problem 
with which the court is confronted. The court is not merely called upon whether, to say whether the gold should be delivered to Italy or to the United Kingdom. It is requested to determine first certain legal questions upon the solution of which depends the delivery of the gold. In its judgment of 15th June 1954, the court found that, without the consent of Albania, it could not deal with a dispute between that country and Italy, and that it was therefore unable to decide the questions submitted. The court said that it could not decide a dispute of whether the Albanian law of January 13, 1945 was contrary to international law, which was the first claim in the Italian application, without the consent of Albania. In relation to the second claim in the Italian application, in which, based on the Washington Statement, it alleges priority over the claim of the United Kingdom to receive the gold, the court mentioned that in the Italian preliminary question, it is stated that the second question submitted in its application will only arise in the event that the court has decided on the merits of the first question. The court found that, as it cannot adjudicate on the first Italian claim, it must refrain from examining the question of priority between the claim of Italy and that of the United Kingdom. Therefore, the court anonymously found that the jurisdiction conferred upon it by the common agreement of France, the United Kingdom, the United States, and Italy does not, in the absence of the consent of Albania, authorize it to adjudicate upon the first submission in the application of the Italian government. And, by 13 votes to 1, found that it could not adjudicate upon the second submission in the application of the Italian government. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the case.